I, I did warn Steve and I said, you know, they like to have fun on yeah. this show. <laughs> we do. You we do. Been, you've been really quiet. Are you a bit yeah. scared? No. I, it just, John and I were talking about how ironic the clip was because we were sword fighting backstage. Yeah, we were. Oh, wow. <laughs> You were with your sword. Yes, very good. Um, yeah, you know, he practices I, a lot. We, I practice a lot. Yes, I do. Um, Steven's very good with a sword. He's got a child to prove it. Um, <laughs> well, you went there. <laughs> no, funny enough, that that clip was the clip that uh, you chopped my hand off. That's right. And right. that was one of the clips that we did because um, uh, normally we have a, a great stunt team. Yep. Uh, James Bamford who uh, does a lot of the, the stunt coordinating, but that was one where we did most of the stuff ourselves. Yeah, th there, are, there are fights on the show where you can utilize the stunt team, and there are fights on the show that are more character-driven than action-driven, that being one of them. So I think we did most, if not all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so great. we're proud of that one. Yeah. yeah. You're, we're so used to seeing you as like, the, the goody and the super... But you're a buddy called Malcolm. It's the bit that you're called Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> Funnier than anything else. Yeah, no, they, they Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm, you really about Malcolm. <laughs> um, yeah, they call him. Uh, it's the Arrow calls or Oliver Queen calls him Malcolm. Everybody else kind of refers to him as Merlin, uh, and uh, that sounds a little more evil. But it's really great to be a bad guy. Yeah. It is. And the one thing that I've always said, you know, that Stephen plays an awesome hero in uh, with Oliver Queen and the Arrow or Arrow. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. <laughs> The, one of the great things for me, I mean, I've been on the show for five years. Steven's been doing it for five years. Mm -hmm. But for me, when he started, and I, I watched him, because I've had that happen to me before, been put in a position of a, a show where you're the leading man. But to watch him grow as a leading man and to lead the show and to, uh, you know, be the, the, the leader of the ship and have a great time and also keep fun mm. within the cast, it's really been a pleasure to watch him kind of grow through the whole process. Do, do you get to talk on the show? You or know, does he do all the talking? <laughs> Shut up. No, I, 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 I'll piggyback on John's story. When John first came on the show, I didn't know that he was playing <clears throat> the big villain of the first season until it was actually revealed on the show, which I think was our ninth episode. Yes. And so we spent all night uh, shooting on a Friday night <clears throat> talking about his experiences uh, through Doctor Who and through Torchwood. Yeah. And, and I, I was just peppering, peppering him with questions. And... Um, for fans of the show, they'll know that we just finished up our fifth season. Uh -huh. um, and one of the reasons that we've been able to make it that far is because in the early going, people like John were willing to give it a chance and come on and give it a boost. Uh -huh. yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. And you recently hit 50, I and have. you still look 25. You Thank do. You. you can come anytime. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it, it, he does, and it's annoying. He, it really does. <laughs> Did you turn up? They weren't. I wish they were boxes. They were. I don't even know what they were. <laughs> they were really good. <laughs> Body snugglers. Budgie snugglers. Bud we call them. Budgie snugglers. Budgie snugglers. Budgie snugglers. <laughs> snugglers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. John. I said to John. I said, if I'm lucky enough to be at your 50th birthday party, I'll come out with uh, budgie Bud snugglers. snugglers. <laughs> No, sm smugglers. 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 In. <laughs> it's all new to him. Don't no. worry, Stephen. I'll talk you through it. But, but the, that photo, another photo exists where I'm standing off to the side, I think, listening to John speak. Yeah. And so I'm just standing there in that, in that outfit <laughs> like this. And my cousin Robbie saw that photo in a vacuum and sent it to me the next day and said, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and I said... I was at John Barrowman's 50th birthday party, yeah. and his reply was, well, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> the best is the video. I have a video of, uh, which will remain mine, of Stephen and my friend Keith Jack, who you all know from the uh, program where they found a Joseph, and he was, you know, the okay. Scottish lad yeah. who came. Uh, anyway, they're doing, they're getting themselves ready for the walk on, <laughs> doing press ups in my bedroom, <laughs> and it was being filmed. But then Stephen had just done a really big uh, uh, show where he was competing in it uh, in the States, and yeah. both of them collapsed, but all that red lettering on their chest <laughs> is now on my carpet! <laughs> and it won't come off! And, and is that what turned you on? Yeah. 
turned you white because you had white hair there. Well, no, I decided for my 50th birthday, because you all know this is all fake colour. Yeah. I decided... <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, it is, oh, totally. Wow. Oh, I decided you. to shave my head to see what I look like grey. Yeah. Really you you like You said it's it looked really great. Cute. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah. But yeah. I, I wasn't... I, no, I say I wasn't ready for it. it. My husband, Scott, looked at me and he went, it looks great, but I'm not ready. Okay. <laughs>